our first fight. Again, the main event is coming up later on here on FS1. Uh, but first, Batir Akhmedov of Uzbekistan taking on Ray Perez. Super lightweights, 10 rounds, about to get underway in LA. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome from the Microsoft Theater here in downtown Los Angeles. Premier Boxing Champions presents FS1 PBC Fight Night. And now introducing our three judges scoring our opening attraction from ringside, we have Sergio Caiz, Don Divergis, and Dr. Lou Moret. All right, fans, here we go. 10 rounds of boxing scheduled in a super lightweight attraction. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with multicolor trim, hailing from Sindangan, Samboga del Norte in the Philippines. He weighed in at 140 and one half pounds. His record stands at 24 wins, 11 losses, with eight of his wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing Ray Flash Perez. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner in this 10-round attraction, wearing silver trunks with red lettering. Originally from Uzbekistan, raised and fighting out of Crimea, Russia. He weighed in the same as his opponent, 140 and one half pounds. His record stands at seven wins, one loss, six of his wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the hard hitting 2016 Olympian introducing Batir Akhmedov. And introducing our third man to the ring now to give instructions, Thomas Taylor. Mouthpiece, mouthpiece. All right, gentlemen, you got your Instructions in the back, all right? Belt line is good here, so I'm gonna give them to the, right to the top of the letters, guys. Top of the letters here, right? Protect yourselves at all times, listen to my commands. Touch them up, back right, to your corner, gentlemen. Good. Let's good. go to the tail of the tape. Batir Akhmedov is 29 years old. So is Ray Perez, they're the same height, basically the same size completely. Right. Perez, though, uh, again, 11 years as a pro. Akhmedov, uh, an elite amateur. Uh, fought for the Turkish Olympic team, 88 and 12 as an amateur. Started boxing at the age of 19, so a late start, uh, but a very promising young fighter uh, coming off a first pro loss against Mario Barrios, where uh, Joe Goose and they said they thought they were ripped off in that fight. Do you agree? Nice, 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 nice. Well, you know, it was a close fight, no doubt, but he, he you know, uh, Akhmedov got dropped twice in that fight. Uh, he, he did some great things in it, it was a close fight. But after the fight, the decision was announced. Uh, Akhmedov was in the background clapping his hands over his head, giving it up to uh, Barrio. So I, I don't, I, maybe they're protesting a little too late now. Okay. Ray Perez comes out firing right away. Again, both in the uh, the white trunks. Good right hand there by Get Perez. Look, Perez uh, coming out of the Philippines, 24 and 11, uh, but very game. Uh, this is the biggest step up, though, for him in quite a while since he fought Jesse Magdaleno. A former 122 pound titleist. He was knocked out Ooh. in the seventh round, but another good right hand. And Lennox, he's able to get that right hand in early on. Yes, he is. He's throwing it really straight. And he's, you know, he's not really winding up with it, but it's still catching um, Akhmedov. And uh, Akhmedov is right in front. He needs to move his head a little bit more so he doesn't get caught with those punches. And you know, of course, Brian, yeah, the, the, you know, the straight right hand is the preferred punch to throw against the southpaw, if you can land it. Um, but here comes, uh, you know, Akhmedov. He, he's nobody to be trifled with. He's very good. Now, one thing Perez will do, though, he'll switch from right to left-hander. So let's see what if he does that in this fight. Lunging in there. A decent jab from Akhmedov. Yeah, Akhmedov uh, is aggressive. Uh, comes out of the Ukraine and Uzbekistan. He fought for Ukraine as an amateur. Couldn't get a the number one spot there to fight in the Olympics and was uh, offered a spot on the Turkish national team. So he fought in the 2016 Olympics. Ooh, down. One twice and over there. down he goes. Three, was a body four, shot. five, six, seven, eight, nine. You just made it, you okay? Come to me. Let's go. That was wow. Ray Perez barely getting up on the count. It looked like he wasn't going to make it. Let's see how he continues. He's, he's still hurting right now, Brian. He got hit with the strong hand right in the liver. The liver sits Two on body him. shots. Yep, three body shots down. there again. And another combination. Perez goes down again. Akhmedov going five, for the kill. 
Six. Yeah, he's still hurting for that body shot. It's over. Perez, yeah, and it's it's over. over. It's one of those body down, shots. There's no way he from. cannot continue. Third. Wow. Third. Just a resounding early performance by Akhmedov. See, but I, I was going to tell you, Brian, that left hand, the strong hand for Akhmedov, yeah. is right in front of that right rib cage that sits on Perez there. That's where the liver sits. And it's well known that left-handers hit you with their strong hand on that side, your, the right side of their opponent where the liver sits. It's really a devastating punch. And that's what he went down from. And it's hard to recover from that in just a few seconds. Very impressive first-round knockoff, uh, knockout by Akhmedov. Comes in on Ray Perez. Perez was firing early. Lennox, your thoughts on that body shot? Yeah, no, uh, he was really... Um, he threw that body punch with some venom, and he, uh, to me, I think he set him up. He set him up. He he realized he was uh, throwing the right hand, and then when he came with that right hand, he just slipped over. It's the first knockdown here. Off the elbow? That doesn't make sense. How does he hit him on the elbow when he goes down like that? That makes no sense. Unless he had his elbow right close to his wrist. Exactly. In tight. Well, wait, that body shot was the right hand that hurt him right there. But Lennox, I think he called it there. If that elbow is sitting right there, that vibration can go right through. I've seen it, seen it before, but it certainly wasn't as flush as I thought it was. We are going to take a closer look at Batir Akhmedov and Ray right, Perez to see if we find exactly why he went down. This is the first knockdown, Joe, go ahead. Right, well, you saw a good straight left hand, right hook, and here comes the knockdown now. It's gonna be a right hook that misses, and then the left hand barely hits that elbow, and, and Lennox and I discussed this before, but it certainly didn't land flush, and here's the end of the fight right there. He gets left hand to the belly, gets grazed, and then back to the body, and then a jab, and then another left to the body and a right hook, and, and Perez actually counters with a good left hook, but gets hit again to the body and goes down. Joe, I'm going to be honest. I don't see enough that would make me think this guy would go down as a professional fighter. Well, that right hook right there would be enough to put you down, Brian. Um, uh, and, but he got hit with several punches in that second flurry. All right. The first Joe, no, one. You're right. No, you're right. Yeah. You're right. I look at that, too. And l let's get the decision, and we can discuss. Let's go back yeah. again to Jimmy Lennon Jr. We'll take a closer look, because I just didn't see enough on that first shot at all. Here's Jimmy Lennon in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, a referee in charge, Thomas Taylor, had seen enough. Stops the contest at the time of 2 minutes 19 seconds of the first round. He is the winner by way of knockout, Batir Akhmedov. Well, just puzzling. I, I saw a few things that looked puzzling to me. And look, I, I, I don't want to think these things, but that first shot... It, Lennox, are you thinking that it hit the elbow and jammed into his body that put him down? Yes, no? I am. Sometimes th uh, I've sparred with many people, and sometimes when you're holding your hand so close to your body mm. and you get hit with a punch, it, your elbow hits your rib, which is right, right behind your liver, and that's a serious shot right here. Boom. So as you can see, he took his time, he felt it, and he went down. It's one of those things that... It may not look like a hard shot, but it, it, it doesn't it take hurts much. You. It doesn't take much, does it? It doesn't. Yeah. Okay. And, and, um, and remember, Akhmenov uh, has six knockouts in seven fights. He's a heavy-handed guy. Oh, no question. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we put him down first, and then when he finished him, Joe, I thought immediately, I said, well, he, he polished him off. It took that other replay for me to see over to the side, but that yeah. first one, it, it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, Heidi Angel, by the way, spoke to the corner, and they said that's that's what happened. Then yeah. he got hit on the elbow and went into his body.